Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. A risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Okay, the, go to bookmap.com for uh, more information. There's a free trial for 14 days. It comes with education. You get the Bookmap educational course, um, and then uh, you get access to the... Um, uh, the advanced order flow webinars, those start in about uh, 25 minutes, okay? So uh, this webinar here, we go through just through the platform details, the basics of Bookmap, uh, and um, uh, ask questions about the functionality uh, and what Bookmap is displaying. In the next webinar, uh, those questions uh, aren't really covered or answered. Uh, it's much more about the order flow and how to actually uh, read the market using Bookmap, okay? Uh, any questions, you can reach us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, let me show you uh, where you can go to find Bookmap. Okay, here's our website. Uh, click on Explore. That'll drop you down to the intro video here, just about a minute long, so you get an understanding of what Bookmap is. Uh, and then um, uh, there's more information here about Bookmap, as you can see. Uh, and then we come down to uh, Bookmap for Equities. Okay, uh, we offer it through NASDAQ Total View, uh, and then uh, a bit further down, connectivity. Okay, so you will need a data provider. Now, uh, connecting to the NASDAQ is through Dev Experts, right? And then uh, all the rest here are, are for futures, all right? So uh, we are a true platform, uh, just like uh, NinjaTrader or TT or Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay, we do connect to the API of those. Uh, specific platforms, uh, or you can connect directly to your data provider like CQG or Rhythmic or Gain Capital or IQ Feed or Transact. Okay, so uh, you will need that. We are a, a software platform. We are not a um, a data provider. Okay, uh, a bit further down, uh, this is where you can give Bookmap a try. Okay, there's the uh, 14 day uh, free trial uh, for Bookmap Basic or Advanced. Uh, Bookmap Basic uh, is 49 per month build quarterly. Advanced is 99 month per month build quarterly. The differences between the two uh, are the add-ons. Okay, so one is the ability to trade right from the chart uh, in Bookmap. This is uh, quite an advantage because you have the liquidity heat map in front of you, and you can place your orders uh, in um, a respect to that liquidity heat map. Okay. Uh, and uh, other domes or other uh, uh, trading platforms, uh, you're not really going to be able to see that. Uh, so uh, you can react very quickly with the one-click trading. Uh, there's other proprietary indicators that we have here that are specifically for uh, order flow. Uh, understanding imbalances, understanding where larger players, identifying larger players with the large lot tracker or iceberg detector. Uh, and then we can also uh, look at some of the correlated markets. Okay, quants, uh, you have specific needs like connecting to your own data or your proprietary indicators. You can click here and learn more. Uh, some of our partners you can see here. Uh, and then uh, you can contact us here at support at bookmap.com or there's a, the telephone number here. Okay. All right. Follow us on Twitter uh, at bookmap underscore pro. And... Um, get the most up-to-date information and uh, retweets of other users. Uh, and then you can follow us here on um, our um, uh, YouTube page. Okay, so um, there is the uh, uh, some intro videos here uh, and a, a playlist of intro videos and then uh, some of the features and components you can see here. Uh, and then uh, there's video snippets, okay? So I would recommend if you're new here to watch some of the intro videos, understand what uh, what you're getting here with Bookmap, uh, and then uh, some of the features and components, get an understanding of, uh, you know, what, what Bookmap is showing you, uh, and then jump into these order flow video snippets. These go through uh, reading the order flow phenomena that uh, Bookmap can uncover, okay? Uh, so uh, Bookmap uncovers some pretty unique uh, phenomena in the market, uh, and um, and these videos uh, uh, go into a little bit of detail. They're very concise and short, but in the advanced order flow webinars, we go through this kind of information in detail. Okay. All right. So uh, let's take a look at the market now. Uh, that said, um, you know we we have a short week here. 
Uh, we're having the webinars Monday through Wednesday because of the U.S. holiday on Thursday and Friday. Okay, it's the Thanksgiving holiday, so it's going to be a pretty uh, low volume week uh, in general. Um, so uh, just let's be aware of that, and uh, let's uh, let's take a look here at uh, at Bookmap. Okay. I'm sorry. I wanted to. I wanted the bigger picture view here. All right. So this was the. Um, uh, let's look at the Nasdaq. Um, okay. So our bigger picture view was. Uh, then we can have to go to a, a one-hour chart. Okay. Um, we saw some great stuff uh, previously, uh, some week or week or so ago, and then um, uh, some volatility here. As you can see, the, the the move to the downside, and then we break this trend line here. So we're right back into this huge range, uh, and we still are uh, in that range. Uh, this breakout here went to all-time highs, and um, we. Um, I can see that we've pulled back to where we broke from down here, okay? Now, in the bigger picture, this is something we look at in the order flow. Uh, so I, I do want to mention that right now because uh, we're going to see uh, how fractal these markets are, how these kinds of moves are just much bigger uh, picture of what we see in the order flow. And we can see that, uh, you know, we either had buyers uh, uh, start to enter back down here uh, that bought previously, Okay, and we're going to see that in book map. Uh, we're going to understand what, what's going on in this area here. Um, well, actually, this is in the overnight session, so we won't. Um, so uh, sorry about that. We, we will start to see them around this area here where the cash session opened. Okay, that's what we're going to be interested in. Uh, and um, uh, then, uh, uh, but my point is that, uh, you know, we see the, 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 the move here. We see that uh, there are still buyers here. Okay. Now, not as many as before. Okay. Uh, but, uh, and we, we haven't come back up into this area here. Okay. So, uh, uh let's take a look at book map. All right. And, uh, get a feel for what's going on here. Here's our cash session. Okay. Starts here at nine 30. You see the quick move to the downside and then right back up. Uh, and then, um, you know, it's kind of some sideways action here, but with a slant to the downside, uh, you can see that, um, uh, kind of in this area here, you start to see that we did make a lower uh, low here and a lower high, uh, and then uh, that's definitely summed up here. So uh, now now we are um, uh, you know in in a kind of a downtrend, but it's it's really kind of um, it, it's not the the uh, strong trending market uh, that uh, a lot of times we'll see. Anyway, I'll cover that in some detail. Uh, let me just go through what you're looking at in Bookmap. All right, uh, and um, I just get to the basics here, okay? Uh, just a review of the basics, and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, happy to go through it, uh, anything that uh, uh, you want. Uh, and um, uh, other than that, though, I'm just going to go through the basics right now, so everyone has an understanding of what we're what we're looking at here, okay? All right, so to do that, uh, we're going to take off layers of data here, okay? Uh, we're going to take off uh, volume, we're going to take off the indicators, we're going to take off the heat map, okay? Uh, and we're just going to put a candlestick chart on here, okay? Because this is a view we're very accustomed to looking at, okay? This is a five-minute candlestick chart, right? And um, it's very simplified, right? But there's a, a big problem here, uh, and there's a lack of transparency, okay? Because we don't know, uh, we can see the wicks and we can start to understand, yeah, there's probably some buyers down here because of the buying pressure and the wick. And then you see the follow through to the upside here. Um, and you know, I, I, I like candlesticks. I, I don't have any, anything against them except for the, that they aggregate the data here within a five minute period of open, high, low close. And that's the problem. Okay. We want to understand the specifics, uh, what happened without aggregation. And, uh, and that's where Bookmap can answer these questions. Uh, because uh, we want to know, for example, just looking at uh, the traded volume. Okay, where did it trade? Uh, we see we see the volume subchart down here, but uh, that doesn't give us an understanding of where it traded within this five-minute period. Okay? And we also want to understand uh, not only that, but what type of volume uh, and um, and how much. Okay, now, those are very very uh, important questions that lead to much more informed trading decisions. Okay, that kind of clarity or transparency 
uh, and um, uh, we don't we don't see it here. Okay, uh, so um, uh, Bookmap solves that issue, and we solve it immediately uh, with just looking at the uh, historical best bid and offer. Okay, so there is no aggregation here. Okay, it's just best bid and offer, uh, which is a re real significant uh, ad advantage here, uh, because uh, we can start to understand microstructure now. Okay, and uh, that is uh, a, a nice uh, a nice insight. Okay, so we can see that yeah, there were buyers down here. Okay, but uh, we're going to probably see the majority of them. Uh, I would imagine probably around this area here in this little cluster of microstructure. Okay, for example. Okay. And then look how it, it traded here for a while. It broke out of this little structure here, okay? And then, then the next five-minute candlestick period, you can see the breakout. And then wh where do we come back to? Right where we broke from, okay? This information is completely lost on the candlestick chart. We, we have no clue of that. And um, we can see the move here to the upside, okay? So just understanding that, and here, here again, like uh, here's an another structural area we break from. And uh, we actually come up pretty high uh, back into that area here. Uh, we come back and there's a kind of a, a battle here that's going to be in the most traded range here, okay? Uh, and that's going to be the point of control for those of you who uh, follow the volume profile, all right? Uh, and actually, we can see it here. Uh, here's our volume column in Bookmap uh, at 6326. We uh, kind of, we do go above it up to 27 and a quarter. Uh, but uh, we can see that ultimately the uh, the buyers lost control here and sellers took over. All right, we're going to see all that though and just uh, as soon as I turn on the volume dots. Okay, but understanding these microstructures and understanding who's winning the battles in these microstructures uh, offers tremendous insight to bigger picture moves because it always starts on the microstructure. Okay, and then you'll see how fractal these are. Uh, you know, for example, um, just that. Um, uh, this not not some great price action to see here today, uh, but kind of uh, a return back to. Yeah, uh, I mean this is kind of where we broke from right here, right? But we still see that there's some buyers here, so I mean we we come up a little bit higher. A lot of times, if you break this low here, that's it. You know, you'll you'll see that uh, a price accepts only down below this area here. Uh, instead, we get uh, we get some buyers stepping in here, right? Uh, so there's still buying pressure in this market, um, but um, uh, you can see that the sellers are winning. Okay, so let's turn on the volume now, all right? And let's get a feel for what's really going on here. Uh, and let me turn up the volume dots a bit and get some insight here. Okay. All right, so. Uh, what we were talking we were talking about here um, uh, starting to anticipate that most of that volume is going to be in this area and indeed it is you can you can see the quick move to the downside but this nice big cluster of volume here okay uh, what are we showing in the volume okay in these dots well we're showing the aggressor that takes place on the historical best bid and offer right so you can see that the aggressor here in these volume dots you can see there's mostly red so it's aggressive market sell orders they're hitting the bid they're taking liquidity and sweeping the book lower okay that's how we move outside of ranges into new ranges is usually by a sweep of the book uh, the aggressive buyer comes in or seller comes in and they take all of the liquidity uh, from that price level and maybe several even below it Okay, as you can see here. Now there's buying in here too, but the, the majority of it is, is selling, okay? And we can see it. Um, and then a nice big cluster here, as you can see, uh, and then here's our move, right? Uh, here, here's where we see the aggressor on the buy side comes in very clearly, okay? Very, very clearly illustrated here, right? This is the kind of insight of breaking of this structure right here, okay? And we get a return back to where we broke from, Okay, and uh, note in this little area right here that uh, we don't see the selling like we did over here. So the, where are the sellers? Okay, they're not showing up. Okay, market market starts to rotate back up and it finds more buyers here and they lift the offer uh, and we go to highs for the day for the cash session. This is the kind of detail and transparency and we're only looking at volume right now. There's a lot more to look at. 
okay? But you can see uh, or start to understand volume uh, in context to microstructure. That's the, uh, the important part, okay? Uh, and um, let me just zoom in here to show you really how simplified, what a simplified version of the market we're showing you here. Uh, because it's it's it looks like it's it's so complex, uh, it is not. Uh, it's actually very straightforward. Historical best bid and offer. Okay, best offer is the red line. Best bid is the green line. That's it. That's all we're looking at here. Uh, now with the dots, though, we're looking at the transactions that took place. Okay, on the historical best bid and offer. Okay, so you can see a quick move to the downside here, and that's because of the sellers here. We see that the sellers are taking, starting to take control, uh, and we test a little bit lower here on the on the best bid. Okay, uh, and uh, so these little transactions right here, someone hit the market sell button. Okay, we can tell you exactly what it is. We can see this is for a volume of seven. This is for a volume of five. We get the date, the time, what was on the bid, and the volume here at this price level. Now, you know, we're looking at millisecond level here, uh, you know, so thousands of seconds. Uh, but we can continue to zoom in here and note how I'm breaking apart all of those little trend, all of that um, that volume of seven is now turned into actually uh, uh, a volume of one, three, three trade events here and four trade events here. So we have every single event here documented in bookmap. All right, uh, but we just we will um, visually aggregate this as I zoom back out because now we're down at you know millions of seconds. Okay, so uh, we don't trade at those levels, but we can see every single event. Okay, uh, our complex event processor can handle millions of these data points. Uh, so uh, now if I zoom back out though, okay, note how as I compress the timeline. I'm going to show this as one bigger dot here, okay? So it's for a volume of 12, okay? So I know exactly what has occurred here, uh, but uh, I have all of the uh, data of really uh, how, it, how it unfolded, okay? So that's it. That's what we're looking at. And a green dot, that's an aggressive market buy. Let's zoom into this one, and we'll break that trade apart, and we can start to see that that actually constituted one, two, three, four, five events. Okay, uh, all for a volume of one, 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 and one. Okay, so a volume of five traded, five different events. That's how these markets, uh, to be honest, that's how they trade. Algorithmically, you'll see many more trades for smaller size as larger players try to disguise their position uh, by using small order size. Okay, you won't see those block trades go through like you used to uh, maybe 20 years ago. Anyway, that's what we're showing in the volume dots, just so you guys understand exactly what these are. As I zoom and continue to zoom out, so many trade events have occurred here that we're showing the volume with this pie display, right? And we're giving you the size of it as well, so and the overall shape by the color. So we know the delta here. So for example, this volume here of 228 contracts, uh, the majority of it was selling, okay? Uh, and um, uh, you, you can see that the majority of this one over here is is buying. Okay, so we get a feel for the 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 uh, type of trader, where exactly it traded and when, uh, and how much. Right, and that that's quite a quite a bit of insight. Uh, it's like a footprint chart, except that uh, it's even more uh, giving more data than a footprint chart because the footprint chart aggregates just like a candlestick will. Okay. Right. So um, anyway, um, I know that uh, there are several people in here. It's great to see you guys in here um, who are um, uh, current current customers, but, uh, uh, you know, reviewing uh, what uh, understanding uh, uh, what Bookmap here is, is showing and going through uh, just uh, some of the basics here. So you get a, a real good feel of it. All right. So um, look at our uh, our downtrend here. All right. So. Um, uh, it was it was trending down and we see a shift in that order flow right here okay the the aggressive buyers came in okay and now we're back up to this little ledge and level where we broke from pretty hard so we're probably going to find some sellers up here and indeed we are okay as you can see uh, we've traded up into that area and we just pulled back uh, oh, about a point and a half 
All right. And we'll see uh, if the sellers will remain here or if these buyers are going to uh, take over here. Now, how are we going to know about that? Right. Uh, we want to understand where, where traders are. I mean, looking at the transactions is helpful. Okay. But we want to understand where uh, they're lining up in, in the uh, in the auction. That gives tremendous insight. Okay. So, for example, uh, we'll look at the dome here in Bookmap. This is the current order book. This is your dome, your depth of market. Okay. Your order book. Uh, and uh, we're understanding where they're lining up to to deal. Okay. On the sell side. Okay, we can uh, we can see the numbers here, the contracts at these price levels. And I can see them also here on the uh, on the bid. Okay, these are on the offer. These are sellers up here. These are buyers down here. Okay, understanding the dome uh, is important. It gives a really good uh, current snapshot of the market. Okay, because we can see the auction. Okay, this is this is a running auction, and these numbers are constantly changing. That's part of the problem with the dome. Although it gives a good current market snapshot, shot, uh, once that data changes, it is no longer relevant, or it can be very quickly irrelevant. Okay, it doesn't record it. Uh, you'll have to remember those areas, and uh, the heat map solves this issue in Bookmap. Okay, because we'll record it. So we record it with the heat map. Okay, this is the next level of data. And uh, you see that the, the, when the numbers change over here, uh, you'll see the heat map change in the grayscale. Okay, so we take these numbers and we, we paint it in a graphical representation. Okay, so we can very quickly see where the liquidity is, the highest liquidity in the book. That's in this current market window with the best bid and offer, current best bid and offer. And then you can see this number is the last traded volume. Okay, so that uh, this is the current snapshot of the market. Okay, where it gets really interesting though is we take this data and we record it and project it onto the chart historically. So now I can see where they were bidding and offering historically, and I can start to understand the behavior uh, of those traders and their intent to trade at these levels. And uh, uh, that's where uh, it really gets interesting because and I can zoom out. And what this allows me to do is instead of looking at the dome uh, and the current market, which is important, but I can also understand the historical. And I can understand where they're, where they're positioning themselves historically, okay, giving me insight to the potential of this move here, looking for potential areas where they're staying in the book here, they mean to trade, they do trade, uh, and um, and then uh, we see the aggressive buyers come back in. Okay, so looking for this kind of information gives us insight to the potential of a uh, of a reversal, uh, or maybe they're just covering down here. But we're starting to piece it together uh, and starting to understand how we can use the limit order book historically to give us insight. Right at this point, we should just take the uh, candles off because uh, it's not giving us the clarity that we want. Uh, in fact, uh, the clarity that we do want is looking at the break of this swing here. Okay. Uh, and then we're looking at this area up here. The, we want to see the break of this swing. Okay. That's the next stopping point. Okay. You can see that we came right to where we dropped from here and we did find either profit takers and or sellers, but uh, still pretty strong move. I mean, we didn't, the uh, pullback has been right to the top of this uh, 63, 19 and a half area, okay? So I'm looking for the next area here uh, at uh, 23 or, or 22 and three quarters, okay? Uh, this looks like potential like a uh, bull flag, right? Aggressive buyers, pullback to this uh, structural area. We may, we're gonna see if we accept above this area and if buyers start to step in again, uh, and then the next stop is going to be where? Okay. Anyone have an idea where? Why? Why? I'm I'm pointing to this area here at 22 and three quarters because of the swing. Okay. In the, in the structure. Uh, but uh, uh, there's other areas to target as well. All right. And that would be the um, uh, high liquidity. Okay. Because the market needs liquidity to trade. Okay. In fact, we're seeing a little bit of, uh, look how this trader came in here, okay? And uh, they skewed the auction with high liquidity, 
Okay, they came in at uh, 20 and a half here. 79 contracts, okay. Uh, high liquidity, and then you see that uh, uh, buyers, uh, you know, with the skew in the auction, all of a sudden there's more supply here, very close or closer to price. Uh, therefore, the buyers shy away and the sellers start to take a little bit of control here, okay. But the buyers are, um, I mean, we still, we still have a few levels here to uh, to look at here uh, in terms of buying. This is where that move really took place, okay. Uh, it was at this 18 level or 17 and three quarters, okay? So we want to see if uh, we get maybe a deeper pullback, but we want to see if the buyers start to step in maybe in these areas here, okay? Uh, to support their their decision to enter in the market. They're going to want to buy more, okay? And we can read all of that information. We can see it in the dome. We can see it in the aggressive behavior. Uh, and um, we can also look at the structure, okay? All of that playing together. Uh, and then we start to air, look for areas that uh, to target. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm real curious to see uh, if we can come up uh, to 62, 63, 22, and then ultimately uh, 22 and three quarters, and see if maybe they're going to uh, start to to pull their liquidity up here in these areas here. Okay, so now look at these guys starting to show more interest here on the bid uh, at 19 and uh, and a half. Okay, high liquidity here. Okay. So now you can start to see all sorts of things starting to unfold, potential spoofing, skewing the auction with high liquidity to move price to maybe get filled down in an area here uh, just below this little swing here, uh, maybe knock some people out, uh, grab uh, some of their uh, liquidity, uh, and, then, uh, and then maybe resume that trend to the upside. Okay, all sorts of different ways of looking at this. Now, you know, that's... Uh, uh, potentially what happened here, but uh, uh, we'll see much clearer examples uh, where we do see exactly that happening, all right? But uh, we see just different shades of this happening all the time, all right? So anyway, uh, let's uh, stop the, uh, the webinar, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one, okay? Okay, thanks, guys.